Path to the armory. Oh god. Well, a good thing we saved the uh, sausages, the, the hot dogs, whatever. I think we all can leave by the front door. Can't go here because he has quite a uh, quite a vision. So there's another arm somewhere, right? Ah, there and there. I'm going there. Affirmative. I think I don't need lead right now, actually. And I think I can just throw a hot dog while he's looking around. And the dog will probably come over and just pick it up. Hopefully, hopefully. Yep. Yep, that works. Now we know that. If I had uh, ammunition, this would have I'll been the so much easier. Changing position. Understood. At the same time, I think I want lead with me here, even if it is, you know, quite a hassle to get him out. I guess I can take care of him and that should make it somewhat easier. Wait, are, are all of these on one fucking grid? I guess... <laughs> guess they are. Almost. Okay, let's... Uh, Okay, 
Come on, turn around, there we go. Thank you, nice and easy. And then we might as well take care of him too, so... Okay, there's an officer there, so I'm not so easy. But hey, we can Manfred, so... Um, it's quite a runaround, though. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. It's gone two hours, man. And uh, lunch. Let's hope they don't panic, but you know, a little meat of soup. Have you got some? No, sorry. You in a... I don't know where you are. Kitchen. You're in a kitchen. These three might actually be quite a nuisance. Okay, let's get your ass down. Get you here, I suppose. I think we can actually walk behind this officer. Some what? Why are you there? Let's say. I probably could have stood there. Chat mine here. Ooh, you ooh, you were lucky. Or I was lucky. There is somewhere like Raining. That's right there. Okay. Guess we'll have to stand back here. Unlocking the armory is one thing. I need to dispose of these crowds guarding it somehow. Of course. 
Unlocking the armory is one thing. I need to dispose of these crowds guarding it, somehow. I can probably whistle him over. Thing. I need to dispose of these crowds guarding it, somehow. There. Third time for charm. There. You didn't throw them up. I wonder if I can actually do this. Doubt it, but... Yes, I can. Okay, good. Uh, Led, you can carry this guy. I'll take care of that body. Understood. Good. You're holding on to that box like it's your life. I'm going there. Nothing. Oh really, you refuse to talk to him? No? Do this instead, then. They can't do that. Throwing cigarettes. Rusham. Sure. These officers don't speak to the men. This just came up very slow, but then I guess that's the price you have to pay for I not having played in a while. I didn't realize how lucky I was not to have dealt with him. You know, I don't think the German soldiers live much better than the youth does 
or whoever it is that's now in here. Okay, the officers might be living quite well, but as I said, the enlisted or conscripted guy don't. Um, well, let's open this. And he will be seen if he tries to take that. <coughs> Getting to the door. No, I can't really throw cigarettes anywhere. Here, maybe, but... Or just whistle, I don't know. Flank. Yeah, in a moment. Yes. You know, thinking about it, we probably don't even need to, you know, have an uprising. We could just kill all the guards. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Or kill the right right guards because you know the f the way is free through here Alm <laughs> almost so they can just leave through the front door almost I thought we can just open this take care of these three then they have a clear path out of here but you know they don't have any weapons so I guess we can make a stop on the way He actually returns the. Uh, of course. Well, you can actually pick up your ammunition now. So do it. Sure, what gonna happen afterwards? But almost loaded there instead of saving. Um. I won't have a lot of time to actually take this guy down. I have no idea. I think we can escape this way. One down.
peekaboo. There, that's a knife assault right there. You won't see it coming. Just like in real life. Unless the uh, assailant is really stupid. Watch my flank. And we actually gonna properly save. Door unlocked. Path clear. Now we just need to take positions and fire the first shot. I think I want to clear out as much as possible first. Uh, no, not shooting. Thank you. He's dead. I think this officer can be... Hmm, not sure. Now this is really starting to get annoying. Where do we actually get out of from? And this train, I don't... Are we gonna have to take the train out of here? I fucking hope not. Do this. Actually, you and you and you. Come on. Hmm. I guess another day uh, we just clear the entire camp and then attack. And why can't we just whisper like, "Hey, we're ready." You know, why can't we just whisper like, "Hey"? Go. I want you to shoot the dog and you to shoot him. I'm gonna let it sink in a moment that something's gonna happen. Huh? The arsenal is open. Grab your weapons, people. Make these animals pay. Hunting. Blood will be shed. Blood will be shed. Oh, they're getting weapons. Cool. Hold on. Yeah, they... No, We're gonna let them actually deal with it. Kill enemy soldiers. Well, that's kinda easy, I suppose. Hunting. Oh, uh, was it now you dashed? It was that one, okay. Some people are shooting somewhere. Just don't know where. Vengeance is mine. If we open this door, I guess then they will be. Okay. 
Oh, hello. Reinforcements. They were prepared. Reinforcements? What the hell? It was all prepared in secrecy. Oh, damn. Run for it. Hunting. What now? Hunting. Where? Which would? Said or you told us we were going to help these people, but not put them out of their misery. I don't know. The plan was perfect, all right. Someone must have ratted us out. Hold on, I think the soldiers are actually losing. The soldiers are losing. <laughs> Almost. Like, <laughs> just, just a few. Yeah, it's just these two that. Or, yeah, yeah. Damn, the soldiers won. The soldiers. No, the. The prisoners won. Darn. Oh, I'm gonna say once again. Save a new. I guess something Manfred has said during interrogation tipped them off, I don't know. The horrors, or horror. Uh, you can read this if you want, I can read it later. German, English, and French. All right. All right. I can hardly remember the torments I went through during the Gestapo interrogation. I told them the plans of our mission, why we were headed to Komhoff, what we found near Vilnius, everything. However, I do not believe that things would get so very complicated. I couldn't have known that the prisoners were going to start a rebellion. From the outset, my actions only made the situation worse. Although, not everything was lost. We obtained crucial evidence and saved a key witness of these atrocious events. A man named Joachim. We escaped and that night in the safe house, Joachim told us about himself. Before the war, he owned a factory in Munich.
But after Kristallnacht, a Nazi-led pogrom against the Jews, Joachim fled to Poland. When the Germans attacked Poland, he was captured. He began his miserable journey from labor to concentration camps. This is where he got in touch with the Home Army and became their inside man. After weeks of stillness and waiting for any news from the Home Army headquarters, finally something moved. Greta showed up with orders that said we were going to London. We were to give the Allies evidence of the war crimes committed by the Germans. The shortest route, straight through German airspace, was not possible. Instead, as part of Operation Wildhorn 4, me, Joachim, and Greta flew to Brindisi in Italy, and from there towards the southern border of France. At the time, preparations for Operation Dragoon were already underway. We were assured we'd be completely safe. Unfortunately, no one considered we would accidentally be mistaken as an enemy. With no radio and a catastrophic fuel leak, we had no choice but to make an emergency landing in occupied France. Oh, damn. Consider yourselves lucky, chaps. I have no bloody idea how I managed to land at all. We're lucky it was just a fuel tank that was hit. <laughs> Did I just say that? Shh. Someone's coming. C'est un avion anglais. André, fais attention. Oui. State your business here. We've had an emergency landing on our way to London. And this Dakota is not flying anywhere anymore. What is your business in London? Michel, patrouille à monde. It's a German patrol. Quick, follow me. So, what is your job? We have a very important message. It has to be delivered to the British government. What kind of message? Couldn't you telegraph it? We can't telegraph me. I see. It's uh, confidential. Who are you people, anyway? We're Force Française de l'Intérieur, the FFI. The Résistance. We're on the same page, then. We're with the Polish AK, the Home Army. Call me Greta. These two gentlemen are Joachim and Manfred. Germans? It seems you people really do have something important to tell London. Trust me, it is. Joachim. Ich verstehe fast gar nichts. Alles ist in Ordnung. Now look, I believe you falling from the sky exactly today is a sign. What do you mean? Tomorrow we are supposed to liberate Brive la Gaillarde, our hometown. Supposed to? Oui. Some of our key members were captured two days ago. We don't have enough manpower for the plan. I don't have a choice but to ask for your help. In return, we're going to help you get to London. Sorry, Fraulein, but we have our own assignment. Our plan involves killing dozens of high-ranking Nazi dignitaries. Okay, go on. Tonight, they're having an important gathering at a party near our town. The plan is to assault the event and massacre as many as we can. It will devastate their leadership in the region. And this is our chance to liberate ourselves. Interested? Joachim? Fuck, I'm in. Manfred? Ich weiß nicht, worüber ihr. We're in. Formidable. But we need to do some preparation. It is important to get inside the party first, in disguise. And you, Greta, fit the role perfectly. You will come to the party as Nicole Schneider, a French wife of one of the absent officers. She should be keeping the invitation at their mansion, here in the town. Break inside and steal it. Don't forget to take one of her fancy dresses. This is going to be your party outfit. Of course, La Pute has to die also. You should find her enjoying her time somewhere nearby. The last thing is that we need to cut off their local garrison from any reinforcements. Blowing up the radio station up on the hill should do the trick. Do you have explosives? 
Oui. That part was prepared successfully. Here, take them. Any questions? No? I think we will handle this. I like you already. Try to be as silent as you can. We don't want to draw their attention too soon. Manfred, take this bomb. I don't know what to do with it. Me neither. Uh, so, from what I understand, we're blowing up the radio station and killing some lady. Basically, yes. And? And then we will shoot Nazis. Oh, well, that'll be something new. Never enough, if you ask me. Well, if there's only one person I wouldn't refuse to help kill Nazis, it's you, Joachim. Appreciate it. I thank you all for watching. Hope Might be you all good enjoyed. Dress as a soldier again. Three years on the Eastern Front, and I never got a new uniform. Now I'm changing them constantly. <laughs> and I see you all next time. That took forever. It took longer than it should have. And I guess it's my fault. Farewell.